Okay, so now that we know the start and the end locations that we want to edit, we can go over the editor and actually uh, perform, perform the work that we need to do. So I'm going to share my screen. And then we'll go over and we'll uh, do the work. So here we're back on our channel content. We're on our live side. And what we know is uh, where we want to start and end that editing. So to do the editing, we have to actually come into the file. We have to click this pencil right here. Then we have to come down and we have to hit editor. It usually helps to take any kind of toolbar and get it off to the side because you're gonna be working in this lower part of the real estate quite a bit. So we now have our start and our end time. So let's take our, our head and let's move it across to our location. So we come across all the way over to here and Thirty-five seconds and zero zero frames. Okay, so uh, there we are, and we're uh, ready to do the trimming. So we come here, and we hit trim, and we get this blue rubber band box, and we move that rubber band over. And what we're going to get in our video is what's inside that box. Then we take our read head and we move it across and we want to get it over to 230. And I may just try and type that in. And then um, I'm going to take the other side, the end of the rubber band box, and I'm going to move it in. Okay. Then that isn't very precise. So what we'll need to do is take the zoom in and kind of move in a little bit and uh, kind of see where we are. Looks like I'm pretty good there. I'm going to move that one over right there. You can see it's, it's kind of finicky, but, but you, you sort of need to do that because if you're um, out too far, you've got an error, but you just simply can't see the error. So now we're going to uh, save what we've done. And so we're getting ready to go. Now this button here says save as new. That's very important. If we get save as new, it means it's gonna take our edits and put it into a brand new file and leave the original alone. If we get save, we can check under this ellipsis here, sometimes save as new appears here. But if it does not, if you can't get to save as new, you should stop, bail out, don't save anything. And the reason is, is if it just hits save, it will save your edits. But if we have two parts to the editing, such as a welcome and a teaching, it's gonna throw one of those parts away. We won't be able to recover it. What we would have to do then is download the file onto an editor on a laptop and do the editing there. And we can do that, but we wanna make sure that we don't make the mistake up here. So in this case, we got save as new, we can continue. So do check that. Okay, we're gonna hit preview. And now it's ready to go. And so we're gonna hit save as no. We're gonna make it public. Uh, 
and we're good. We've, we've got the uh, file being trimmed. Now we're gonna go back. So we're gonna hit this arrow right here. And this thing is gonna throw a message. You wanna discard your changes. Well, it's very deceptive. We can say, okay. And we're gonna come over here. Of course, we don't see anything. Where'd our, where's our work? And we're gonna come over to the uploads and we can't see anything. So to see it, you have to hit refresh. If you are doing an upload, because in some cases you may be uploading multiple files while you're doing some editing. If you refresh during an upload, it'll kill your upload. So you have an upload going on, don't refresh. We don't in this case, so I'm gonna refresh. And there we have it, and it's processing. While it's processing, we wanna do a couple of things. We wanna come into this ellipsis right here and you wanna get the shareable link. You can get the shareable link and you can link the file before it's done processing. So that's one thing you're gonna to wanna to do. And if you click here, you've got the shareable link. We'll also wanna go in here to this pencil and you can edit file attributes while it's processing. We'll wanna make sure that the title is correct. And we may wanna upload a thumbnail. There's the opening slide. And among other things that has the title and the date on it. So we're gonna want it. And there we go. There's no playlist, so we won't put anything there. And for teachings, we would say it's not made for kids. If we were uploading a file for a youth program, we would absolutely say made for kids. Under show more, we just wanna make sure that it says allow embedding because that's what we're gonna actually do. We're gonna go embed this on a website somewhere. Looks like we're in good shape. So I can come over here and hit save. And that's it. We've got our new file and we can uh, come over and we can see that it is almost done and we're ready to now go link that into a website.